Do you want to know how to create really cool looking PowerPoint slides like this? Or maybe like this or this or this or this or this or something like this? Well, let me show you how to do it. And by the way, this is just using PowerPoint. I'm not using any fancy tools. I'm not using Photoshop or Adobe Creative Cloud or anything like that. You don't need a degree or a master's in art and graphic design to do this. This is just using PowerPoint. I'm going to show you exactly how I've made these really nice looking slides, which are absolutely certain to make your presentation or your training course just look a little bit better, in all honesty. Also, for all you e-learning people out there, you can then, um, you can, well, import this slide into Articulate Storyline if you wanted to. But anyway, let me show you how I did this in PowerPoint. Now, I'm using PowerPoint 2016, but it works on all versions of PowerPoint. Um, I've not tried on the online version, I'll be honest with you. So the one that you can do through your web browser, I've not tried it on that. This is on the desktop version. But if you're using PowerPoint, 365 on your desktop or 2016 or whatever version it is, it works. All right, so let me show you how I've made some really cool looking slides. The way I did it, let's go to a blank slide. So this is a completely blank slide. All right, delete everything from that slide. There we go. I have a blank white slide. Right click on it and we want to format background. Okay, so we've got this bit on the side here. It's ready. And I want to fill it in. So a solid fill and I'm going to pick a color. So this is the color that's going to be in the very background. So let's pick a color. Let's go for this, uh, this, this green here. Okay, quite a strong color, but we'll go with that color. We can change it later on if we wish to do so. Then go to insert, shapes, and pick this rectangle shape. And we want to cover the whole thing up. There you go. So it's all covered. Just click on it. And we want to be filling it in white so we want to make the whole thing white and we want to make the border white as well so we've got a completely white rectangle you with me so far then go to insert shapes and we're going to draw using this freeform scribble so we're going to be drawing around here okay so this is the line there that you saw on my other ones now it's very important that this joins back up like that there we go so we've got this big blue ugly blob on my screen at the moment but this is the thing that makes it look really cool once again we want to make it white so click on the image shape fill white and shape outline white as well so there we have it then i want to click on the rectangle and shift on your keyboard and click on the big blob you know the scribble that you did and then go to Merge Shapes. Now, Merge Shapes will be in shape format. Alternatively, if you've got a search bar or this tell me what you want to do bar, you can type in Merge Shapes in there as well. So I'll show you. So it's there, okay? And then you go to the appropriate one. I'll show you, whoops a daisy. I'll show you on Merge Shapes here that you want to pick Fragment. Okay, you've clicked on it. You've got fragment, it's now got all these boxes showing. Just click away from it. Now you can see probably very faintly there's a bit of a green line there. That's because it's been fragmented. And if you click on this, you can then move it to the side. And look, we've got our nice gap. And if I show you some of the other ones, look what I've done here. Yeah, so I've got things coming through the gap. I've got things as part of the background. And let me show you how I've done all of these. First off, let's have one. Let's let's recreate this one here. Okay, so we've got you know the hand with the tree, and I've called it the benefits of nature. So I'll show you how I did that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to insert an image. So I'll go to insert pictures from this device. Now I've got pictures on here already. So and I'll put them in my downloads folder. I remember what picture it was. It was that picture there. Okay, so I've just inserted an image. That's all I've done, nothing special, nothing fancy. I've inserted an image. So there's my image. I'm going to move the image out of the way. Click on this bit here. I'm gonna bring, oops, I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna to bring to front. Move that back up. There we go. Now it looks like the kind of hand with the tree is coming from the background. Whilst I've got your attention, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Anyway, back to your presentation. So we've got this 
And then what I can do just to make it look a little bit better, put a nice little uh, fill in the colors on this. So I click on that. I'm going to again fill in the colors. And then if I go to insert and I'll add in a text box. So I'll just call it nature. You get the idea, you know how to use text boxes and so forth. Pick an appropriate font. There we go. Make it fit. So that's how I've recreated one of those. But let's show you one of the other ones, okay? So that there looks nice. It looks good, I'm happy with that. But let me show you this, the history of work. Now this one here, I particularly think looks good. So I'm gonna delete all of the bits I've just done on this. Change that to, instead of nature, to be the history of work. I want to make these bits gray. So I click on it and I'm gonna be filling it in. So you can go to shape format or you might have the format bit on the right hand side. Let's fill it in. I've gone for a nice gray color. Same again. Nice, oops. Nah. Let's go with the same gray. But this green in the middle just doesn't look right. What we want to do, remember though, this green is the actual slide color. So if you right click on it, again, format background, it's this bit here that appears. And you want to go to picture or texture fill. Now it's filled it in with this kind of rock face because that's just one I've, I've had earlier. But if I go to insert, you can insert, search for a picture. So I say workforce. Let's have a look at what we've got for workforce. See if any of these are any good. Um, let's say factory work maybe. Maybe factory work's a better one. Here we go, this is maybe a little bit better. So you could do one of these for instance. Let's, let's go with, pick that one there, go to insert, see what it looks like. There you go. So that's how you can have that. Now I've picked a better one here earlier. I just got, just got lucky. I can't remember what I searched for, but I got lucky with it. And then you've got you've got that. So you can see that this in you know in a presentation of work is just already going to look better than just a piece of text. Let me show you how this computer how did this computer hacking one though. So using exactly the same bits. So I put in computer. Now I did slightly different on the fonts on this one. What I've done, I've just copied the fonts. So I've got two fonts on the go, just so I can um, I can play with them a little bit better. Make it a bit bigger, that second one. And the reason I've gone for two text boxes is so I can move it closer, because you can't really do this. So I've made it really close. So you've got two different bits, say computer and hacking there, a lot closer to each other. But I've applied exactly the same principles with this backdrop. So in the backdrop, right click on it, format background, go to this bit over the, over the side here. I'm going to do picture or texture fill, go to insert, Look for the images. I put in matrix because that's the uh, the kind of backdrop from the film Matrix. There you, go. you should be familiar with it. Go to insert, and there we have it. So we've got that. Then I just coloured in these bits black. So these are just shapes, shape format, shape fill, black, black. Unfortunately, my text is black as well, so I've got my text. And when we're filling in the text, show once again, we'll go to, oh, it's over here, isn't it? Here we go. Change the color. So you can change it to white if you want, or what I've done, I've gone to eyedropper. I've gone and picked all those colors in there. So there we go, there's that. And actually just for a bit of variance, I made that one there a slightly different color. Is that a slightly different color? Yeah, barely. But you get the idea of it. So that's how you can recreate those. Let's give that a slightly better colour. Just so it stands out a bit more. There we go. A little bit more. So that's how you can recreate that. Exactly the same thing with diversity at work. Um, also, actually, we'll go back to this one here. Something I can show you. This object here, you can keep moving it. There you go. So you can show a bit more of that. So maybe that looks a bit better. Always bear in mind, though, how much you can actually see from the presentation. All right, so the limits, if I move it down here, don't forget that those bits are there. So that is the edge of it. What you could do, actually this is looking good, I could just delete it. Look at that, it looks really nice, doesn't it? So that was just, if I undo that with Control Z, 
this bit here is, is, a, is an object. You can quite simply, rather than just moving it, you can actually just completely delete it. And then you've got a very nice looking, you know, matrix kind of thing and computer hacking. And that could be about anything. That could be, you know, I know in a lot of workplaces you'd be doing about exactly that, you know, so kind of data privacy or um, stopping people from, you know, sharing data or maybe something to do with uh, data warehouses and data lakes and all of that type of thing. So, you know, this is something, it just looks better. It looks better than your traditional PowerPoint presentation that just says computer hacking on a white background with maybe a company logo on it. And these company logos, I've got a generic one here. I've just downloaded the company logo. But yeah, you put your company logo on there. It suddenly looks very professional. Something I've done with this one, I'm just going to show you this one here though. So this is exactly the same, but let me show you what I did with this. So I'm going to undo all of that because I'm using this one. I'm going to get rid of the matrix background, even though I love it. So I'm going to format background, give it a solid fill, and let's give it a fill of just a white fill. I'll get rid of that and let's call this mountain. What do I call it? I call it mountain climbing. I think it, I call it rock climbing before. It's quite mountain climbing. There you go. Mountain climbing. There you go. Spelled correctly now. This part here though, what I've done, if we go to this one here, you can see that this is actually a rock face. So click on that. Picture your texture fill. It's come through the rock face because I used it earlier. That's the only reason, but I'll show you how I did it. Go to insert, um, I'll put in rock. I'll put in rock and I've got a picture of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. There we go. Um, I've just picked an appropriate one. And in this case, it was this one here. It looked particularly good. You can pick any of them. Pick one that just looks good. I thought that would look good. So I went to insert, it put it in there. Then I inserted a picture that I had on my computer. So insert pictures. From this device, I picked a picture of, of a guy climbing and then just moved him into the appropriate position. And again, I can change this one here if I wanted. So it doesn't have to be black. I could do shape format. And again, I'll fill it in. I'll fill it over here. That's quite nice, though, isn't it? There we go. Have that. If you want to change this backdrop, instead of being a white backdrop, Remember that is the actual uh, color of the slide. Format background, solid fill, color. Pick the color that you want. Yeah, it doesn't look so good. Uh, maybe uh, a light green or something like that. There we go. So you can see how it is. Now with this, this one here, I haven't changed this position. Um, I'll show you one earlier on. So using these ones here, I put the, the image of the tree behind this layer. But this time I've just left them on top of it. You could put them behind a layer if you wanted to. Remember this is a layer as well, so I could, uh, I could, as I bring that to the front, and then I've gone behind it. I have to adjust all my text, but you get the idea of it. You could do that type of thing as well. Or I could just send him, send him to back. So there's lots of things you can do with it. I could send that to back as well. There we go. So you could have that. It looks okay. Not perfect, but it looks okay. But anyway, hopefully you found this useful. Um, this fire safety one, I'll show you the fire safety one because fire safety is a classic course that I've written many a time at work. So what I did with fire safety, I write fire safety here. That one there's black. So instead of it being a fill with a picture or gradient, it is a solid fill and it is a black solid fill. Again, though, this backdrop, what I've done with the actual slide, so this is the uh, the slide color, this, this green, right click on it, format background, picture or texture fill, insert, and we're gonna go for fire, wait for Bing, there we go, pick an appropriate fire, oh, that'd be good. Looks nice, that. And I'll fill this one in as well fire safety let's make it red or white what do we want white let's go with white make it a bit bigger though i might just show you how to play with these slides but i still like them to look good and i just need a picture of a fireman so again i've already downloaded a picture previously this device uh, one of these is a fireman oh there we go okay there you go got a fireman there 
And what I actually did with this fireman, I brought this layer, so this, this, this layer here, I brought it to the front. So it brings the front, move the fireman back in there. And you could do something like that. Maybe I'll stretch it out a bit more. But again, put a company logo on it. In fact, I made that bit red. I'll take the company logo, put it up here maybe. Uh, down there does look good actually. There you go. Suddenly you've got a nice looking presentation. Yeah, that's a nice front screen to a training course, to a presentation, to something you go to at college or school. Um, it looks good. Now I've spent quite a lot of time showing you all of this, but remember that initial part of just doing the uh, the square uh, or the big rectangle, it only takes 30 seconds, 40 seconds. And then from there onwards, it's all down to your imagination. But hopefully you can use some of these actually in your workplace. So this diversity one, it's exactly the same. It is just the slide itself. I've made the slide having image of a diverse workforce. And I've just put some nice colors, separated them. Okay. So I kind of separated that. Bit of text, company logo, and it suddenly looks very professional. So anyway, hopefully you found this video useful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel for more great tech tips. I cover lots of topics. I cover obviously PowerPoint, which is what we're doing here, but Google Sheets, Excel, Word, Articulate Storyline, Camtasia, also advice on how to start a new business, how to freelance, how to do contracting, all of that type of thing. So a real mixture of things. Thanks for watching the video and enjoy playing with PowerPoint.